Today, Governor Brown held a ceremonial signing of a bill in honor of a college student killed by a campus security officer in Bend. The new law will require stricter vetting for those officers. Fox 12's Sarah Hurwitz is in studio with the story behind Kaylee's Law and what the victim's family had to say today. Well, a lot was said today in that press conference. It's a case that we've been covering extensively, the murder of Kaylee Sawyer in 2016. Now, the man convicted for her murder was a campus security guard at Central Oregon Community College. Now, today, Governor Brown held that ceremony in Bend with other legislators and Sawyer's family members. The law will require stricter vetting for campus security guards, including criminal background checks. It will also equip all security cars with GPS and recording devices. Now, Edwin Lara received two life sentences for Sawyer's murder, as well as federal kidnapping and carjacking charges. He went on a violent three-day crime spree after Sawyer's, Sawyer's murder that spanned two states, including kidnapping and carjacking. Now, Governor Brown and her family both spoke today on the emotional journey to get this bill into law. Today is a bittersweet day, to say the least. Never could I or would I I wanted to imagine walking through the last few years as we have, learning to live a new normal in the wake of our daughter's horrendous murder and being given the opportunity to change history because of that murder. Being able to do something truly noble, righteous, and monumental in honor of Kaylee to help others has helped soften some of our pain and loss. I want to close today in Kaylee's spirit and focus on the positives this legislation brings more transparency better safety and a way to forever remember kaylee sawyer now in light of this new law we spoke with students at portland state university a spokesman says it has four campus public safety officers who would be impacted by this law and it would adhere to whatever changes the law might require now hear what some students think about it for security guards and on campus yes i, I am a supporter of um, increased background checks, uh, more technology to ensure that those people are doing their job and not harming others. I actually think it's a good idea, mostly because it keeps um, security like accountable for what they do. And mostly with everything going on with the violence and police violence and everything, I think it's really a good idea to actually have a camera and see what they're actually doing and how the people react. Now, the university also has five sworn officers who go through all of the same requirements that law enforcement go through, and that would not fall under this new law. The official signing of that bill was back in May. Reporting live here in studio, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12, Oregon.